Twin Oaks, RV, 317 Victor Alpha, taxiing from fuel pumps to 02 run up, uh, number 2, Twin Oaks. And we'll be doing a quick run up here, RV, so. All good. So I, I want to head uh, uh, due east. Okay, so if you do that, we want to tell Hillsborough Tower that we're departing from Twin Oaks to the east and ask them if there's any RNAV traffic inbound that we need to be aware of. Okay. So I'll do it so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Otherwise, the option is just to do a left downwind departure and then depart to the southeast. That way you're well above anybody who would be and coming so in. And so basically do it at base? You just do left crosswind, left, yeah, left downwind and left yeah, base. base. Just keep yeah. climbing. Um, I'm fine doing that too. So, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do that. So you're not remaining in the pattern, you're departing. But you're just making a left downwind departure to the southeast. Okay. Twin Oak 317 Victor Alpha, uh, departing runway 02, uh, left, uh, remaining in pattern left, or left downwind with a east departure, Twin Oaks. Yeah, just left downwind departure to the east. Left downwind departure to the south, southeast. Okay, they're on just a little to the left because we got that crosswind. Yep. Yeah. Hold it right there, hold it right there, right rudder. Okay, now we can get it run out slowly as you rotate. 50. Pattern altitude until you're past the airport. Okay. And once you pass the airport, you continue your climb. Take your call, your downwind, departing to the southeast. Twin Oaks, 317 Victor Alpha. Uh, left downwind, departing to the east. Twin Oaks. I'll uh, do a timer when I, uh, uh, when I'm at Lake Oswego and time this other segment. So four and a quarter minutes until Lake Oswego hits my wing. Milano, RV, 317 Victor Alpha, uh, uh, coming in for 3-2, uh, but pattern uh, from 5 miles north, Twin Oaks, or Milano. Milano traffic, RV 317 Victor Alpha, 5 miles to the north, inbound 3-2, Milano. Okay. So this is entering left 45. Left 45, 3-2, is that my call? Yep. Why no? Descending out of 2000 because you're high. Yeah. Milano 317 Victor Alpha entering left downwind from 2000 feet. Twin or Milano 45. Left 45 for 32. Watching my speed and watching my elevation come out. Milano 317 Victor Alpha downwind 32. Milano. Left downwind. Left downwind 32. Milano. Milano, 317 Victor Alpha, left, uh, left down, er, cross, left base, 32, Milano. Bring up the rest of my power here, pitch for 60. 500. Still a little high, need to pitch for 60 still. Need to make a final call. Milano, 317 Victor Alpha, final 32, Milano. Milano traffic, be advised, in two minutes there will be parachutes over the field. Two minutes, parachutes over Milano. I'm really high. Uh, I'm going to go around. I hear my two minutes. Milano, 3 and 7 Victor Alpha. Uh, uh, left crosswind, acknowledge the jumpers. Milano. Uh, 3 2. My call here is left downwind. Milano, 3 and 7 Victor Alpha. Left downwind, 3 2. Milano. Good. Okay. In the room, we pitch 75 immediately. There we go, all the power out. Where do you get pitch 75? Have we ever pitched 75 here on the descent? Am I 5 up on everything? 70, 65, 60. That's right. Yeah. Milano, 317 Victor Alpha, left base 32, Milano. Um, low. Gonna give it a little more power here. Look how flat that is. Milano, 317 Victor Alpha. Final 3-2, Milano. Okay, that shape is looking better. Bring out some of the power. Pitch 60, come on. That's not 60. Bring out the rest of the power here. Pitch 60. Milano traffic, be advised, parachutes over the field. Parachutes over Milano. Power all the way out. Straighten this out. Milano, 
Malino 3, Winston Victor Alpha, clear of 3-2, Malino. Alright, how'd you feel about everything from the time we left to now? Well, I knew the workload was going to be high, just visually coming yeah. along all those. And so that was kind of my, wow, that's fast. Um, so that, sorry. To watch that, that's that's amazing, okay. So I, I knew that that was going to be an issue. I was trying to pay attention to the aviating more than that. Uh -huh. um, I obviously was totally wrong on when to descend because I, you know, like, yeah, anyway. Um, came back in, that was okay. Um, I was really unsorted in that first. I mean, my speeds, not only did I think the speed was wrong, but well, I was also off for even that speed. One left okay. down, three, two. And so I'm not surprised that, that I came in like that. Uh -huh. Went around it was a little bit behind the airplane until about the time of the bugs check, and then I felt like I started to get it together. Wasn't, uh -huh. wasn't perfect, but it was at least uh, bringing things back in. Okay, and how was that last feel? approach? And uh, landing. It was, it was better. Um, I, I know that I, <laughs> I changed my slope on the way in a couple of times there because I just couldn't figure out. It's okay, they were all good changes. Yeah. Right? You did, that's what it is, constant adjustments. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it was like, oh, I'll so, bring out all the power. And then it was like, oh, holy shit, I need some power, you know. Right, exactly. You so, just put it back yeah. in, okay? Yeah. But you made good adjustments. Yeah. Um, it was a good decision to go around. Final three, two. You got us here, right? You know what I'll say is you don't want to use like whole cities or towns as checkpoints, mm -hmm. especially ones that just blend together. Well, uh, sorry, I was using the lake, crossing the lake okay, on my left that's wing, fine. And, then it, and then I was using the falls here. The falls? I just wrote it as that, yeah. What do you mean the falls? The the Willamette River Falls at Oregon City. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Which uh, is why I knew, oh, yeah. I need to turn south yeah, that's because fine. I turn so, it over that. Yeah. yeah, so you guys here, you did a nice job entering the pattern, okay? Um, Notice how when you tell yourself ahead of time, okay, this call is going to be left downwind with 3-2, yeah. then you take that call correctly. I'm going to taxi. All right, but yeah, nice job. Uh, last night it was good, okay? And the approach is good. You were, you were low at first, but you added power and you kept good air speeds. Yeah. And uh, it all worked out, so good. They flew a nice pattern. You can see it here, nice and even and round, so that's what you want. Lino 317 Victor Alpha, departing 32, uh, left close traffic. Milano. Push forward and yep. um, to bring it up before it's ready. Yeah. Malino 317 Victor Alpha, left crosswind 32, dead. Malino. Good. And this is this. Downwind. Left downwind 32. Malino uh, 317 Victor Alpha, uh, left downwind 32, Malino. Good. To the end of this and pull in power. Second strike. Seven. There's the second strike. Okay. 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 When you're beam the point that you want to set down. Okay, I kept going for the end of the runway, and yeah. Okay, so I'm looking for 70 here. Uh, this is my left base, 3-2, for, or pitching 65. Milano, 317 Vector Alpha, left base, 3-2, Milano. Good. That feels kind of flat. 500. I'm going to keep the power and stuff where it's at, but I'm bringing my full flaps here. Trim that back out. Yeah, I'm bringing a little bit more power, 65. Turn. Yeah, that still feels a little bit. That yeah, feels a little bit low. 65. Trim for that. For 60. Yeah, that does feel low. Adding a little more power here. Milano 3 wind 7 Victor Alpha at final 3 2 Milano. Yeah, that's starting to get where I want it to look at. And I was at 60. I was. And now I'm not. A little bit of power in, pitch for 60. Oh, there we go, there's 60. Still have a little bit of power in. Go over these trees and then. There we go. Wow, that's really high. Okay, 
It's still going to come down, though. Milano traffic through and 7 Victor Alpha clear of 32 Milano. Again, I feel like uh, I'm not confident in whether I'm high or low. Oh, you well, the well, there. Whether you're confident or not, you're correct in your okay. assessments. So generally, you're coming around low. Uh huh. Okay, which means that you're uh, all else staying the same. You're just starting your base late. And so if you start it earlier, you'll stay higher, right? Yeah. Okay. But you're making the proper corrections, so that's good. Yeah. All right. Good. On my speed's a little better there. Yep. See, the speeds are good. You're using power and pitch properly. Maintaining yeah. 60 as you come down. So on this one, we're going to do a short field takeoff. Have okay. we done that before? No, we did one at Twin Oaks. Yeah. Wait, or do we do one here? I don't know. We did one. Okay, so we'll do a short field takeoff, so talk me through it. Uh, so we're going to stop as... Uh, close to the end of the runway as we can, and uh, keep the brakes on, uh, uh, power all the way up. Make sure we're so we'll make sure we're developing full power. Uh, right rudder, release the brakes, and let's see. Uh, Turn how that's different, except we're going to climb out at 60 until we clear our, our right. obstacle. Climb out at 60. So make sure that when you line up on the center line, you come to a stop with the wheel straight. Yeah. Then brakes, full power, make sure you're making good power, everything's in the green, release the brakes, pretty much holding that right rudder in. Yeah. Okay. And so it's it's kind of like a run-up. Kind of. And then just uh, hold that center line as you go down and just uh, yeah. rotate like normal. Everything's normal, basically, except you're just climbing okay. out at 60. Now, I have to double-check the POH, because uh, during a, an obstacle takeoff, you use normal takeoff procedures with the following exceptions. Escape, flaps, half, brakes, hold, lift off, uh, climb at 60, so... Yeah, that's for a obstacle. Soft field also have, and okay, so I guess it does recommend it for a short field as well. So you can do flaps half as well. Yeah. So obstacle is basically short. Yeah. Yeah. Milano three one seven vector alpha departing three two left close traffic Milano. All right. So get us out. Use as much runway as available. Just make sure we're lined up with the nose wheel straight. Now technically, oh. just so you know. Technically, we're on a taxi right now, so an examiner could. Oh, because this isn't just a displaced threshold. Right. It's also okay. Oh, that's yellow. Okay. So they could fail you if you did a takeoff from here. <laughs> Make sure you pull up to the threshold and then go. Right, because it'd be white. Yep. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Power. Brakes. There you go. Hold that center line. Nose up just like normal. Right there. Hold it there. Good. Rotate 55 like normal, climb out at 60. Okay, 55, rotate, climb at 60. Hold 60, hold, hold 60. 60. Come on, no. nose up, nose up, nose up, 60. Okay, wait till you clear the obstacle. All right, you clear your obstacle, pitch for okay. 75. Pitch for 75. Remove my flaps. Don't do that first. Oh, okay. Pitch forward for 75. And then once you confirm... Uh, positive rate, bring the flaps oh, okay. This is left crosswind 3-2. Milano traffic, 317 Victor Alpha, turning left crosswind 3-2 at Milano. Okay, this is left downwind. Milano traffic, 317 Victor Alpha, left to downwind 3-2, Milano. There we go. Okay, pitch for 7. Okay, there's my half flaps, pitching for 70. 1,000 feet, I make my left turn, and this is left face 3-2. Milano traffic, 317 Victor Alpha, left base 3-2, Milano. Yeah, I like how that looks a little better. 65, we've got full flaps. 65, oops, I waited to turn. Okay, this is final 3-2. Milano traffic, 317 Victor Alpha, final 3-2, Milano. Okay, pitching for 60. Okay, there we go. My speeds are off. You're just slightly not aligned. You need a little, just a little right rudder on that. Okay, just kind of side load the, the tires a little bit. Very small yeah. amount, but just a yeah. little. All right, good. Good airspeed control. Nice approach path. That one was just a little long, but... Milano traffic, 317 Victor Alpha, clear of 32, Milano. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate a soft field takeoff. Okay. And then you're going to do a short field landing. 
a short field landing, pretty much the same as a normal landing, except our approach speed is going to be 55. Okay. Okay, we're going to set it down. We're, we're always aiming for that second stripe, but we're really aiming for the second stripe now on this yeah. on the short field, okay? So you have 200 feet to set it down for a short field. And if you're coming in at 55, does it mean that you tend to use a little bit more power to... Yep. Not much more, but a little more. All right, so soft field takeoff. The goal is to get the weight off the wheels as quickly as possible. So again, we're using half laps. I'll go ahead and put those in now. We're pretending we're rolling onto grass, right? Or dirt, right. whatever. So we're going to have the stick full back from the start. Yeah, we're not going to use brakes any more than needed. We're going to keep rolling. We're not going to stop. We're going to keep it rolling, uh, keep our momentum so that, you know, we don't get stuck. As we add power, the nose is going to come up pretty quickly, right? Because it, yeah. I'm pulling full back. So you gotta, as you add power, you gotta kind of let it come forward so you don't slam the tail into the the concrete. Okay. Yeah. And then, you know, we've talked about when you were doing your regular takeoffs wrong, how you tried to climb out in ground effect. Yeah. And you got up and it didn't want to fly and it came back down, right? Yeah. Okay, well, we're basically trying to do that intentionally for soft field, but instead of trying to actually climb out from ground effect, we're going, we're waiting till it gets up in ground effect which it's going to do quicker because we got fast laps. So, yeah. And we're going to level off. We're going to fly straight over the runway in ground effect at about three feet above the runway and accelerate up to 60, which is VX, and then we climb out at 60. So as you're accelerating, you're going to see it go 50, about, about 50 or so, you should be up in ground effect. And you'll be seeing 55, 6, 7, and about 58, you're going to start pitching up because, remember, this lags behind. Yeah. If you wait till you see 60 and start pitching up, it's going to go 61, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. So you want to start pitching up about 57, 58 so that it hits 60 and holds hits 60. So we're stick full back, in the nose up, off the ground a little bit more than usual. Okay, so we're trying to protect that nose wheel, keep it out of tall grass and stuff. Getting in the ground effect, leveling off, and accelerating in ground effect until we hit 60, or just you know before it as we pitch up and climb at 60. Okay. Yeah. All right, no one's there. Down went good. Line of traffic, 7 Victor Alpha, departing 3-2, left close traffic. Line up. All right, so sticks full back, and I'm not going to stop from here on out. I'm keeping uh, it rolling, and as I add power, and I'm using just minimum, minimal brake, just enough to steer, but that's it. Um, as I add power, I'm going to let the stick forward so that the tail doesn't hit the ground, right? Yeah. All right, just rolling down the center line. Here we go, holding the stick back. There's the nose right there. Okay, your feet alive. Everything's in the green. Hold the nose right here. There's it. In ground effect, we're accelerating right here. Okay? Yeah. There's 60, climbing out. Nose up. Holding 60. We're clear of our obstacles. So we're going to yeah. accelerate to 75. Well, nose down. Nice. Okay, nose down. Accelerating to 75. Positive rate. Flaps coming up. All right. And then you climb out like normal from here. All right, your controls. My controls. Air controls. All right, so your short field landing, again, is pretty much the same as a normal landing. You're just going to be holding 55. You have to use the power a little bit more. Yeah. Now we're setting it down right at the uh, beginning of the second strike. This is left base 3-2. Milano traffic through and 7 Victor Alpha, left base 3-2, Milano. It's okay to be just a little bit higher for a short field because it's simulating coming in over an obstacle. Right. It's very much like what we, basically our approach is on 2-0 at Twin Oaks. They're coming over the trees and then we have to get down after we get over them, right? 500. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pitch for 55 here. There's, there's don't 55. Don't get slow. Don't yeah. get slow. Pitch down. Come on. 55. Pitch. Add power. 55. 55. 55. Not 60. 55. Yeah. Power out. Pitch up. Come on, 55, hold 55. Now let it come forward, 55. Yeah. Power should be pretty much out at this point because okay. you're high 55, yeah. hold 55. You're just too high and too far. Yeah. You're not going to hit your spot, but that's fine. Just bring it down. Milano traffic, so. jump ship one, left base to final three, two. Careful, not too much. Okay, let's go ahead and stop. And yeah. the other thing we do is flaps up out of rock right away. And simulate max braking. You just say that. You say simulating max okay. braking. Okay. Let's get us off here. Okay. So now yeah, you're, speed is way off. you're going to do oh, a soft device. field takeoff. Okay. I'm going to demonstrate a short field landing for you. Okay. Okay. So my soft field takeoff, 
Uh, I'm gonna stay uh, half laps, stay rolling, nose up a little bit more, accelerate ground effect until about 57. I'll okay. help you, you know, on the stick a little bit, but uh, basically, just once it gets up about 50, it should be able to get up in ground effect. And once it does, lift off. You're just gonna let the stick forward level off. Don't let it, don't put it stick forward so much that it comes back down and hits the ground again. Yeah. You don't want that. You just let it forward so that it levels off. And you're accelerating in ground effect until it's just before 60, and then continue to pitch up for 60. Now hold this back and let it forward as you accelerate right. Come on, right rudder. Okay. Bring it up right there. Okay, hold it up right here. All right, hold the center line. Good. Okay, get up. Now right here, just level it off. Accelerating. There's 60. Pitch up. Yep. 60. Pitch up, pitch up, pitch up. Come on, come on. 60. 60. There you go, now forward, okay, there, there, go. there you go. Okay, now, clear of your obstacle, pitch forward, accelerate to okay. VY. Okay, yeah. Okay, accelerate to VY, and positive rate, now flaps up. Okay, not bad, so yeah, you can, uh, it doesn't take much, uh, in this plane especially, to accelerate to 60. You're, you're there in just one or two seconds, really. But you just want to make sure you are accelerating until you get there before you pitch up. Accelerating before you get there. Oh, you mean in the in ground when effect. we're pushing forward, basically. Okay. Three, All right, good. My control. Two. Your control. So be my point. We're taking our power back. We're pitching for 70. I'm going to actually start pitching towards 60 now because I'm going to be pitching for 55 on final. Going full flaps, pitching for 55. All changes here. 55 is what I'm aiming for. As soon as it kind of starts getting towards 55, I let off the pressure, right? Because I'm going to anticipate yeah. that it's falling behind, and I don't want to get too slow. So this is good. There it is. I'm add a little bit of power, just a little. Hold in 55. A little more power. There we go. Now bring the power back. 55. Now we're getting far. I gotta get it down, otherwise I'm not going to slow down. So I gotta get it down, and then I gotta ride it out here just to set it down right on the second stripe. It's a little bit past our point, but it was within <laughs> 200 feet. For sure. Okay, flaps up. Simulate max braking. Stick back. Getting on the brakes. You saw when I was on short final, I realized I was a little high, and yeah. I had to get down, because you, if you just wait, you're gonna float right past yeah. your spot. So you have to get down, even if it means speeding up a little bit. You have to get down so that you can then level off over the runway and bleed off that airspeed and energy and set down where you want. Yeah. So you saw I let it, I let it uh, go down a little bit. I gained, I picked up a little bit of airspeed, not too much, but a little bit, and then I leveled off and I bled it off. Yeah. Right? Now those are the techniques that you need to utilize knowing your airplane, and you know that in your airplane. It likes to float, and yeah. any extra energy you have is going to make make you float way down the runway. So, if you have to, get down early, level off, bleed off that extra energy in level flight, low, basically, in your roundup. You're going to do a, another soft field takeoff, and then a short field landing. Uh, you want to bring in my half flaps? Yep. Bring in my half flaps. I'm going to make the turn and use as little braking as I can, not stop. Nose up a little bit early, which means I'm definitely going to be pushing forward. Once you're in ground effect, you just yeah. let it off so that you level off. Okay. And stay in ground effect, 57. Yep, and once it gets 58, 59, you're, you're starting to pitch up for yeah. 18, 60. Okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to track straight. Yep, hold that center line. Right rudder. Center line, good. Ground effect, right there. Okay, Let it fly here. Okay. 58, 59, 60, pulling up, okay. pulling up. There you go. Pull it up, pull up, pull up, pull up. On 60, 60, 60. Okay, we're clear of our okay. obstacle. Accelerate to okay. VY. Go to VY, 75. And then confirm positive rate and yep. flaps up. Okay, flaps up. Hold in 75. Now. 75. Good, and then short field landing. This is my left crosswind. Milano traffic, crew and 7 Victor Alpha, turn left crosswind, 3-2, Milano. Okay, I'm going to be turning uh, left base, and my airspeed is going to get weird here. Yeah. Milano traffic, crew and 7 Victor Alpha, final, 3-2, Milano. Okay, so I'm at 55. Hold 55, not slower, 55. 
That's no sound. There you go. There we go. Okay, you gotta get down to get to the second stripe, so power back. Okay. Power back. Gotta get down. 55. Yeah. Moving up traffic, 74 can afford. Hold 55. Just hold 55. Yep. Yeah. Looking good. You're looking good. Just hold 55. Hold 55. Bring it down, 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 round it off. Bring it down, round it off. Let it come down, round it off. Alright, good. Flaps up. Okay, flaps up. Simulated, simulated brake. Yep, simulated. Yep, so slow yeah. down. Come on, slow down. Simulate max full braking. There's no reason you shouldn't be getting off here at a short field landing. Through uh, Milano traffic, through and 7 Victor Alpha, clear of 3 2, Milano. Okay, you're gonna do another soft field takeoff. I'm gonna demonstrate a soft field landing, and then we're gonna take off again back to Twin Oaks where you can try a soft field landing when we get there. Okay. Okay, so this is my soft field takeoff, so I'm gonna need my half flaps. Nose is is up early. I need to stay in ground effect. 57 and rotate. Not up early, it's just up a little bit more than usual. Okay. And then once you're in ground effect, once it lifts off, you just level off. Let it accelerate there. Okay, get lined up. Stay rolling. Yeah. Hold the center line, don't go off of it. That nose up, there it is, there it is. Hold that center line, good. Okay, let it get up in ground effect, level off. There you go, hold it here, accelerate. Now pitch up. Now pitch 60. up, there we go. 60. Yep. Hold 60, good. Climbing out at 60. Hold it oh, 60. Like 60, 60, go. Okay, you're clear of your obstacle. Pitch for VY. Pitch 75. And confirm a positive rate. Oh, yep. And flaps up. And flaps up. And clock is 75. Alright, so with the soft field landing, number one, we're not as concerned with the spot, although I still want to aim for the second strike. Yeah. Uh, we're basically doing the soft field takeoff in reverse, so again, our goal is to keep the weight off the wheels as long as possible. We want to set down as soft as possible, we want to land with the nose wheel in the air, so we're just landing uh -huh. in a wheelie, and then we let the nose wheel down nice. So make these, this call? Yep. All right, my control? Your controls. Okay. Good. So, again, keeping the weight off the wheels, so we're going to use, we can use power as we are in ground effect. If we feel ourselves going to set down too hard, we can add a little power to arrest the descent and make sure that we set down nice and soft. So you can use power to help arrest that descent and, and set it down softly. I'm going to set it down softly again with the nose in the air. And then we let the nose wheel down nice and soft as we roll out. Okay. So still aiming for the second strike, but again, not as concerned about it. Um, we just mainly want to make sure we've got that nose wheel near. Set it down nice and soft. It's okay to come in with a little power too, and then pull it out as mm. you round out. Like, I have a little bit of power in right now. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to start pulling it out. I'm just flying it. Just flying it. I'm just flying it. Holding it off. Holding that nose wheel off. You see the nose wheel hasn't yeah. touched it. Now set it down nice and gentle. Okay, flaps stay down. We don't pull them up because, again, we want to keep weight off the wheels. Mm -hmm. But for right now, you're going to do a soft field takeoff and take us back to Twin Oaks. We're going to be doing a soft field takeoff, so we're going to use half flaps. I'll put those down for you. Okay. All right, your controls. My controls. Your controls. There you go. Just start turning now. Just aim for the yeah. center line. Go hold that center line. Nice and easy with the power. Bring it in. Go. Oh, keep that nose there. Keep it there, keep it there. Let it come up and ground effect, level off. Just let it accelerate. Yep. And now pitch there up we 60. go. 60. And that was better. That was better. Okay, you're clear your obstacle. obstacle. So, pitching for 75. And for a positive climb. Bring out my flap. Yeah, just say confirm right. positive rate. Pops up. And without uh, my GPS, I'm just going to go straight and look for Oregon uh, for the falls, and I'll turn there. Oh, I thought it was further north, so there's the falls. Okay, so now that I'm at the falls, I'm going the, uh, the you know low GPS here. I'm going to uh, turn due west, and I that should keep me between the two airspaces. Okay. So I could autopilot this with heading and AP. We're, we're roughly 10 east of, of Twin Oaks. 
Roughly. Yeah. Twin Oaks traffic, 317 Victor Alpha, 10 miles east, uh, going in for landing, Twin Oaks. Landing, what? Inbound, 02. Inbound. Yes. Inbound, 02, just letting them know what your overall intentions are. Overall intentions are to land, uh, to come in and land on 02. That's your overall intention. You know, just using the, the iPad to verify my uh, non my non GPS usage. Right. <laughs> well, it's on autopilot. So, can you help me with the with the autopilot on descending? Okay. So you're gonna bug the altitude you want to go down to, right? What we can do is, if you want to maintain this airspeed, you can hit the indicated airspeed button. Okay. Okay. And now and you see it's set at 94. Right. And so, so now we'll start pulling back to about 4,000. 3,800. Right, and so I can just kind of, it's going to pitch for that airspeed, so. Yeah. Twin Oaks traffic, 317 Victor Alpha, 5 miles east, overflowing, overflowing the runway, headed forward 02, Twin Oaks. Yeah, so, we'll be overflowing the field, 1,700, the right teardrop entry, 02. Twin Oaks traffic, 8109 Romeo is uh, over top of Hillsborough Airport right now, we're going to be, uh, Entering the long 45 for 0 02 is when I make my call over flying, entering That's over top of the field 1700, the right teardrop entry. You want to keep yeah. track of what the guy coming from Hillsborough is doing because you might tell him to go first or you might yeah. ask him if he's going to come behind us or what. Yeah. Twin Oaks traffic, through 7 Victor Alpha, over flying the runway at 1700, entering the right teardrop, Twin Oaks. And Twin Oaks traffic, our 8109 Romeo is going to make a right 360, or a right 180 actually, and we're going to work our way to the 45 for 02 Twin Oaks. So when I come out of this, uh, entering left 45 downwind? Oh, just centering, you're, you're on the teardrop already, that's the 45, so you'll just turn and then you'll call your downwind. And Twin Oaks Elevation. traffic, our 8109 Romeo is running the left 45 for 02, we've got the traffic in the pattern, we're going to follow it behind you, Twin Oaks. Make your downwind call. Twin Oaks traffic, 317 Victor Alpha, downwind, uh, left downwind, 02, Twin Oaks. Okay, soft field landing. So we're just going to bring it in nice and soft. Nose up in the air, on up, down. A little bit of power if I need it. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, uh, it's my left base. Should be going to 65 here. You're turning base way early. Why are you turning base yet? You need to be down to 900. Yeah. Or the barn, right? Okay. Okay, now it's your base. Okay, pitching 65. Alright, I didn't do flaps when I was ahead. doing that. Pull up. Twin Oaks traffic, 317 Victor Alpha, left base 02, Twin Oaks. Okay, so get your okay, flaps. So we have Twin Oaks traffic, arrow 1109 Romeo is uh, okay, in the downwind, left downwind 02, Twin Oaks. And I'm going to be pitching where 55, which oh, is that soft field, not short, 60. Okay. Okay. There's my full flaps and trim back out. Uh, Twin Oaks traffic, 317 Victor Alpha, final 02, Twin Oaks. All right, let it come down, 60, power should be at idle. Yeah. Get us lined up with the runway, you're not lined up. No. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> traffic, all right, once around Romeo's left, base 0 2 Okay, add some power. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Bring it out, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. All the way, all the way out, all the way out. Now just keep it, no, don't, don't float. Oh. <laughs> that was a little adventurous. And for next traffic, all right, 109 Romeo, final 0 2. All right, bring it, slow us down, slow us down. Slow us down, yeah, slow us down before you turn. Okay, now get us off. Drop clear zero two taxi and fuel drop. Thanks. Get fuel in her. Yeah. She's thirsty. Yeah. Well, not very, but yeah. 